Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Critical and welcome back to another episode of Noida. This episode we're going to be taking a look at one of the later game quests, so be warned you're going to need a lot of, uh, you're going to need a lot of stuff. I've given myself everything that I need to complete this run. I'm also in tourist mode so that nothing really fights us because I'm just trying to show you guys how to complete this little side quest. Uh, but there's also lots of spoilers for late game stuff in this episode, so be warned if you haven't, uh, haven't done much in the game, you might want to come back later. But, uh, first and foremost, what we're doing today is we're going to be taking a look at the light chest and how to open the light chest. Now, there are two chests that spawn in the world. The light chest spawns up in the right, right cloudscape, and the other chest spawns down in the right hellscape, uh, down below. So, these are... Two pretty pretty cool chests. They they unlock some stuff that we're gonna be checking out later. This episode we're only focusing on the light one. Uh, and unless you head to a parallel world, I don't believe you can open both in one run. So we'll be taking a look at how to open both in a future episode when we when we take a look at the dark chest. But uh, for today we're just trying to open the light chest. Now what you're gonna want to do, as you can see, I'm down here in the uh, in the mines down here. You're gonna to wanna to head all the way over to the left side first because there's a couple of things that you're gonna need before you can actually open this chest. Namely, you need a key and you need to charge the key. Now, the key drops from one of the mini bosses in the game. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get over here. I just wanna to get to the side of the map first. And I'm gonna actually just blow through this with my bomb. Boop. Okay. So, this area is interesting because, as you can see, I go in here, it doesn't really light up. Uh, it's a very dark area. I think it's called the Dark Cave. And you're not going to be able to see through there unless you have... I'm going to give myself all-seeing eye. But uh, torches or electric torches or light modifier spells will also work for helping you see in this area too. You don't have to use that particular perk, but for the sake of this, I thought it was much easier for me to use that. But uh, this in here has a couple of things. There's a little heart there, and up here at the top, there's also a full heal. Uh, I recommend leaving this until after you fight the boss. We're going to go ahead and take it because I've got a ridiculous amount of impossible health, but uh, just for the record, I would leave that there until you can come back. But this area over here is the Ancient Laboratory. This is a very dangerous area. As I said, this is a lot of late game stuff. Uh, you're not going to want to come over here unprepared. And you can see there's lots of dangerous chemicals, uh, which I actually have to be very careful because if I get polymorphed, I can still be killed. I've never seen these little statues before. These are cool. They're like little Noida statues. Um, but there's all sorts of different things here. This is also great if you're looking for a specific type of, uh, of like, I don't know, chemical. There's a lot of different chemicals here. I don't think it's every chemical. It seems to be mostly the pink and blue ones. Uh, from what I can tell, concentrated mana, teleportadium, the polymorphs. Uh, but I've seen some other stuff as well, like lava and there's some berserkium. Um, so this might be a good place for you to come if you're interested in uh, getting some of those. But you're going to need to make your way all the way over to the left side of this area. And again, I don't want to get hit by anything here. Until you get here, and this is out. He's angry at me. Rude. All right, well, let's just melt him with our ridiculous tentacle wand. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I didn't realize it was going to melt him quite that quick. This is a ridiculous uh, boss fight over here. Uh, it's it's kind of insane. So I, uh, I might do like a boss fights video in the future. Hey, now. I'm gonna need you to get away from me, please. Thank you. I might do a bo boss fights video in the future um, on how to kill some of these guys. I did one on the Chasm boss not too long ago. But, as you can see here, this guy drops a lot of stuff. So namely, he drops a lot of the... And I'm gonna have to actually blow some of this up here. He drops all of these little spells here. Now these are some very, very powerful spells which I might go over in a future video as well, but the thing that you need for this is the crystal key. And you can see here, this just gives you a little uh, a little key, and it doesn't, uh, I don't believe... Hey now, hey, why are you upset? This, uh, this tentacle wand has some side effects. I'm just gonna kill everything real quick. Um, I don't believe it says much about it, it just says the key is voiceless. You gotta give the key a voice. 
Now, to do this, we're going to have to head to four different locations on the top of the world. So, first of all, we're going to need to get back out of here. So, let's get out of here real quick. And the first of the things that you're going to need to go to is actually... Ooh, is actually over here to the left. Ooh, there's a, there's a white flag there. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, over here to the left of the world, there are a few things. As you can see here, they've added some stuff into the snowy biome, if you haven't been over here in a while. Uh, but, above the lake, there's a little island with all the deer and stuff. And if you've been watching my content, you'll have seen this before. But, uh, if you head over to that island, there is a weird kind of structure on it that you're gonna need to go give the key to for a moment. So let's make our way over there. Oh, all right, here we are. It's here somehow. It's supposed to be, all right, this might not be here. It's supposed to be on the island over the lake. I don't know why it spawned here. It might be a little randomized, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna throw this little key down next to it, and then you're just gonna wanna kick it. The key listens, it's taking in the music. So, uh, that's that's good. You don't have to like leave it there the whole time. It is uh, it is acquired that portion of the thing. And now you gotta head all the way back to the tree to the very, very top of the tree for the next music box. And yes, that is what those little things are. Those are music boxes. So, let's get to the next one. So, I'm over at the tree now, and uh, if you didn't know, also, this is where all of your achievements kind of pop up over here when you've killed things. So these are all the bosses that I've killed, these are some of the other other little achievements in the game. I don't know exactly what all of them are, but uh, I think there's a guide online somewhere as well to what all of these are. But, you can see here there's little hands sticking out the top of the tree. Throw the key down, kick the music box, the key listens, it's taking in the music. So once again, the same message that time. And now, you're going to want to head all the way over to the little fish lake that spawns on the other side of the mountain. So let's get over there now. Okay, so down here at the bottom of the little fish lake, which none of these fish will attack you, uh, I originally thought when I first started playing the game that maybe these were like piranhas or something because everything else was trying to kill me, so why not these? Uh, no, they're just friends. Uh, so again, the key listens, it takes in the music. And then the last music box is over on the far side of the desert, just past the pyramid. And here we are, the last of the four music boxes. So throw your key down in front of this one, give it a kick, and the key has taken in the full song, it is ready. So grab your key, and there's a few ways you could do this. You could climb up the right wall and get up there that way, but uh, the area we're going to is actually, coincidentally, directly above the pyramid. So if you head back, oh, that's the wrong wand again. If you head back over to the pyramid over here, and we bounce up. Also, I'm sure you're seeing there's a lot of secret stuff on the surface. We'll be going over some of that stuff in future episodes as well. I have a lot of stuff planned. I'm gonna try to go over all the secrets, but uh, if we head up here to the top, we can head up directly from here, and you're going to reach what is called, or what I call, the right cloudscape. I don't, it, I think it might just be called the cloudscape. Um, well, let's get up here. I'm gonna land for a second because I'm out of, I'm out of floating. Uh, so, again, another very dangerous area. Lots of these guys, lots of these guys, all of which will one-shot you early game. Uh, so, what you're going to do here is you're just going to want to head right over to the right side of this area. Is he shooting at me? I don't like him shooting at me. And you're going to enter question mark. And up here, you can see there's a little, this looks like the little boss that you fight at the end. And uh, there is a chest here, and it is actually called the Coral Chest. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your key, your charged key, and you're going to throw it at the chest, and it is going to remember the song it says. And then it spawns a bunch of water as well, like a little ball of water. So uh, again, you hopefully already have Breathless of some sort, because you had to go through the, some of the other water stuff as well. But 
this is going to give you some of the divide by spells. Uh, in this case, I got three, four, and two. I've seen other people get different ones, but uh, if you pick these up, these are also very late game items. So between the killing of that boss and all of this, you get some very crazy stuff. Uh, cast the next spell twice, but with reduced damage. Cast the next spell four times, but with reduced damage. And cast the next spell three times, but with reduced damage. Uh, so, that is the light chest. That is how to acquire that. Now, as I said, there is a darkness chest down below in the hellscape, but uh, unfortunately... Why... What is... Is this, like, freezing? What's happening here? Oh, boy. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can actually access both of these without first going to the, uh going to a parallel world to acquire another key, because as you see, that ate our key. So we're not actually able to uh, get another one. Unless, uh, oh, hello. Wow, I keep forgetting that I have like this wacky one. Let's take him out. Nice, that was satisfying. All right, so that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you have all enjoyed, and I hope that I was able to help you in your quest to open the chest of light. Uh, but again, that is going to do it for this one. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you all in the next episode of Noida. Bye-bye.